ओके स्टूडेंट्स सो टुडे वी आर स्टार्टिंग चैप्टर नंबर वन फ्रॉम द ट्वेल्थ स्टैंडर्ड एन सी आर टी सिलेबस सी चैप्टर नंबर वन इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इन द इलेक्ट्रिक चार्ज द वर्ड चार्ज वॉट डू यू मीन बाई चार्ज इट इज द बेसिक कंसेप्ट वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड इन स्टैंडर्ड टेन बट डोंट वरी now we will revise what is electric charge so the first concept regarding the charge that is charge is a intrinsic property of matter as we know that students the uh, <coughs> material has a mass in a similar way the particle has a charge there are two types of charge one is positive other is negative consider suppose we are having electron proton and neutron these are the particles electrons have negative charge proton have positive charge and neutron has a no charge it is a it has no charge so that's why we can say that two types of charge are there one is positive charge and other is negative charge electron having negative charge that's why it is known as the negatively charged particle and proton has a positive charge that's why it is known as the positively charged particle neutron has a no charge next we can say that suppose the next property that is the like charges repel each other suppose we are having electron and other particle is also electron electron means negatively charged particle it is also negatively charged particles if we keep together then they will repel each other so <coughs> like charges will repel and the unlike charge will attract each other suppose we are having positive charged particle and other is negative charged particle they will attract each other this is the <coughs> next property next see what is the si unit of charge that is si unit of charge is coulomb right and the dimensional formula for charge is a raised to 1 t raised to 1 it is print mistake over here so we will write like this dimensional formula for charge is a raised to 1 and t raised to 1 a for ampere t for time we know the dimensional formula we studied the dimensional formula in standard 11 so we know that how to calculate dimensional formula for any physical quantity right okay the next concept or next thing that we have to going uh, going to understand in the charge that is to detect the charge on the body gold leaf electroscope is the apparatus that we are going to use to find or to detect the charge on the body okay see the next concept that we are going to understand that is what is charged and what is uncharged body dear students while studying this chapter during the chapters we are going to use the word charged body uncharged body neutral body these are the terms we are going to use in this chapter so we must know the meaning of charged body and uncharged body for that purpose see suppose dear students what is the charged and what is the uncharged body see suppose we are having a body name it is a body and we are having another body suppose that is a b body we can consider the spheres also they kept on insulated insulating stand okay so the first body has a suppose three positive charge and three negative charge another body having two positive charge and two negative charge here we can say that the number of positive charge and number of negative charges are same so that's why the body is known as the neutral body or <coughs> neutral body or known as the uncharged body here same the two positive charges and two are the negative charge it means number of positive charges and number of negative charges are same that's why the bodies are known as the <coughs> uncharged body or neutral body charge less body we can say that 
during somewhat process suppose anything suppose the friction is happens over there and so anything so due to some reactions or due to somewhat re reason the two charges from body a transfers the tra body number b suppose these two charges the electron this electron and this electron due to somewhat reason it transfer to the another body so we are going to draw over here right as we know that the mass of electron and mass of proton this is the mass of electron mass of electron that is 9.1 10 to the power minus 31 kg mass of proton that is 1.67 10 to the power minus 27 kg this is the mass of proton as the electrons or charge particle transferred from one body to another body the first body may lose the weight and second body may gain the weight depends on who is transferring electron or proton and we know the masses of electron and proton this is the first concept now we are moving toward the second concept what we have decided is suppose two charges two charges are transferring to the next body b body see what happens over here here now due to the transfer of two charges here only three positive charges are remains and only one electron means one negative charge remains over here so that's why here the number of positive charges are more that's why this body is known as positively charged body right here what we can see that see one two three four means four electrons are there and only two protons are there means two positive charge bodies are there and only here four electrons right so more number of electrons are there that's why the b body is known as the negatively charged body dear students <coughs> see what we have done over here initially initially before the transfer the both bodies are charged less body and after the reaction what happens the body a becomes positively charged body and body b becomes negatively charged body see means what we have done neutral body becomes charged neutral body becomes charged right it is positively charged and it becomes negatively charged so means you are going to understand what is the charged body there are two types positively charged body and negatively charged body so the heading is over here and you understand i think the concept the meaning of charged and uncharged and a neutral body now we are moving next that is the properties of electric charges <coughs> see the basic properties of electric charges we studied about charges we introduced the charge and now we are moving towards the properties of the charges the first property that is additivity of the charges suppose we are having a body right suppose we are having a body having n number of charges n number q1 q2 q3 q4 up to qn n number of charges are there then what the question arise what is the total charge on body so at that time we will we will do simple addition that is total charge on body will be addition of all the charges that is q1 plus q2 plus q3 plus 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 qn right this is the additivity of the charges what happens if the polarity is different the next question arises what happens when suppose the polarity is different suppose we are having minus q charge plus q charge again minus q charge again minus q charge again plus q charge these many are the charges present on the body now in this case what is the addition or what is the total charge present on the body at that time again do the same thing write this this is minus q charge plus q charge minus q charge minus q charge and plus q charge right so here 2 plus <coughs> 1 2 3 minus 3 q plus 2 q so answer will be as we know we know that that is the minus of q that is the answer 
right so this is we can say negatively charged the body in this way means what i want to say you just add simply by algebraic sum this is the concept regarding the additivity of the charge okay the next that is charge is conserved see students before before this we studied a one example that suppose body number a body a having three positive charges three negative charges body number b having two positive charges two negative charges two negative charges before the reaction this is the case before the reaction what we have took the example ki two charges transferred from a body to the b body right this is the case after the reaction what happens c case number 2 in that case what happens these are the plus 3 charges only one one negative charge remains on a body b body plus 2 charge minus 2 and the transferred electrons right so before the reaction how many positive charges 1 2 3 4 5 so five protons are there during the system whole system has plus 5 charges and whole system has five electrons so number of protons and number of electrons before the action was five protons and five electrons after that after the reaction 1 2 3 4 5 5 you protons 1 2 3 4 5 5 you electrons means before the reaction and after the reaction the number of protons and number of electrons number of positive charged particles and number of negative charged particles are same so we can say that charges are conserved we know the law <coughs> the charge energy neither be created nor be destroyed in a similar way we can say that charges neither be created and nor be destroyed so this is the laws of conservation of charge i think ye aapko samajh mein aaya hoga aage ke liye the quantization of charge the next concept and next properties of the charge that is quantization of charge there is a rule what is the rule the q equal to n into e q equal to n into e this is the quantization of charge this is the mathematical statement of quantization of charge right here q is known as the total charge n is the integer and e is known as the fundamental charge right right the value of fundamental charge that is one electron equal to 1.6 ten to the power minus 19 coulomb in some books it is written over here plus or minus symbol if the electron are there so we can write minus sign because electron having minus of 1.6 ten to the power minus 19 coulomb we will write minus sign like this the magnitude of proton that is plus 1.6 ten to the power minus 19 coulomb right okay so by putting the values over here we can put the sign plus or minus so this is the quantization of charge to calculate total charge present on the body we have to use this equation q equal to n into e here by putting the values of number of transferred charge we can calculate total charge present on the body right so total charge present on the body is in integral multiple of fundamental charge this is the theoretical statement of quantization of charge once again i am repeating the statement look at the board please concentrate quantization of charge means total charge remains on the body present on the body is equal to the integer multiple of fundamental charge right so this is the three pop, three properties basic properties regarding the electric charge next method of charging the body suppose we are having a neutral body and we are going to charge that body so we we have two methods that is one is contact method and other is induction method right so first of all we will understand what is contact method for that purpose we are going to consider suppose sphere a and that sphere number a is kept on a insulating stand so this is sphere a and we are having another sphere that is sphere b kept on insulating stand sphere b 
द चार चार्ज ऑफ द स्पीयर ए इज क्यू एंड चार्ज ऑन द स्पीयर इज जीरो सो दिस इज द पॉजिटिव चार्ज स्पीयर एंड इट इज ए चार्ज लेस स्पीयर राइट सो वॉट एपन्स ओवर इयर इफ वी ब्रिंग टूगेदर और स्पीयर ए इज टच विद द स्पीयर बी इन दैट केस वॉट एपन्स नेचुरली स्टूडेंट्स द एडिशन ऑफ द टू चार्जेस विल लाइक दिस फर्स्ट चार फर्स्ट स्पीयर हैविंग चार्ज क्यू सेकेंड स्पीयर हैविंग चार्ज जीरो द टोटल एडिशन ऑफ द चार्ज बिकम्स क्यू आफ्टर द सेपरेशन द चार्ज विल डिवाइड दिस इज द कॉन्टैक्ट मेथड बाय मेकिंग कॉन्टैक्ट और बाय टू स्पीयर्स बाय जॉइनिंग बाय अ सिंपल वायर व्हाट हैपन्स द चार्ज विल डिवाइड सी आफ्टर द दे विल टच आफ्टर द दे ब्रिंग इन कॉन्टैक्ट एंड सेपरेशन द चार्ज विल डिवाइड मीन्स चार्ज ऑन स्पीयर ए विल बाई टू मीन्स क्यू बाई टू एंड हियर ऑल्सो इट इज क्यू बाई टू फॉर एग्जाम्पल सपोज मान लेते हैं कि चार्ज स्पीयर हैविंग ए हंड्रेड कुलोम चार्ज एंड स्पीयर बी हैज ए जीरो कुलोम चार्ज राइट इफ दे आर दे आर हैविंग ए दे आर जॉइन बाय अ सिंपल वायर देन वॉट एपन्स I told you the charge will divide means spear A having 50 coulomb charge and spear B become having a 50 coulomb charge this is the contact method before this before connecting the spear A is uncharged spear, uh, spear is charged spear and B charge spear B is a chargeless spear so in this method what we learn we learn that ki with the help of charged body the uncharged body gets charged this is the contact method right okay students now we are going to stop over here in the next video we will study the induction method